Someone's cursing, my lord. Late night lunch. Someone's puffling, my lord. Late night lunch. Someone's growing, my lord. Late night lunch. Oh lord, late night lunch. This is a post-watershed production. Welcome to a late night large falling down around your ears. With the screen door rusting off its filthy hinges and the mangy dog searching vainly for a place to die, is me, Aaron Bliss. While your crack den masquerading as a sweet shop, masquerading as a residence for tax purposes, is Mike Large. Hello. <laughs> Why don't you tell the audience what tonight's theme is, Pykel? Um, I resent the Pykel comment. <laughs> um, you know, you got something to say. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> you, no. uh, so, yeah, housing, motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't housing. think we, yeah. Housing, I don't believe we've debated in any sense so far. Uh, we probably have touched on it. Um, in some, some form of masturbate. Um, there was no masturbate. <laughs> oh, there fucking was. Uh, Believe me. Housing is uh, one of those very, very basic necessities for human survival. A bare necessity, you may say. Uh, you may say. Although some people might even argue with that. For instance, I could just live in a cave or inside a log. You don't like you live inside a log. <laughs> When we first mention housing, Mike, what comes into your head? What what immediately jumps to mind? Well, I just I just think of my um my little villa that I've got out in Spain. That you, that you, or my your Yao Dong. Th- yeah, my Yao Dong. <coughs> my what? What? Give yeah, me a, give what, 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 Yao Dong. That's what, what? Co- that springs to mind. You say housing, I say Yao Dong. <laughs> you say Yao Dong, I say housing. <laughs> Yao Dong. <laughs> housing. Yao Dong. Housing. Yeah. See. No. So. Housing at its most basic roots, all the way down to the root. All the way to the root, people. <laughs> what What would you Plum say deep. at its simplest? Housing is four walls and a roof. Any form of basic accommodation, isn't it? What is accommodation? Housing. Break it down. Uh, Break it down now, y'all. <laughs> Come on, stop playing city buggers. I think we both know it. that's not something that's likely to happen anytime soon. <laughs> so. You can break you, it down to its simplest get, definition. You get more simple. If you can break that down to. What like, was your definition? Just accommodation. Uh, but what's accommodation? Uh, you know when Homer dis- <laughs> it tries to describe what? a spoon and says that metal deal he used to dig food? I want a definition like that. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> well, you can always give me some time. You want me to come up with a decent Homerism? <laughs> I mean, you can't just throw that on a man. Jesus Christ. True. It's a lot of pressure right there. Shit, son. Something that Something. protects you from the elements. You realise so just saying it like a moron. <laughs> like, yeah. Something that protects you from the elements, usually by usually but not always by having four solid walls and a roof. That's simpler than my explanation, is it? There's usually a door <laughs> okay. to gain ingress. What what, and what 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 are elements? Oh yeah. What, uh, what's a door? Explain. What's a door? Well, I don't think uh, Yao Dongs have doors, do they? No, fucking Yao Dong. Look, there you go. I'll tell you what. what. What about your housing? Do you like your housing? Do you think your housing is adequate for your needs? Is it fit for habitation by humans? Does job. Yeah? Yeah. I it, shit, I sleep. It, I get up, I go to work. You shit where you eat. I shit where I eat. <laughs> I eat where I shit. <laughs> and, so, uh... uh I sleep where I shit and I eat where I sleep. I've heard you've been warned a couple of times by the fire brigade there about the state of your place. Yeah. Uh, fire hazard. Yeah. They said if you, if, you don't, if you don't clear the pile of shit up uh, from across your door, you may slip or exit in. <laughs> in a place of a fire. Yeah. Plus it's full of flammable materials, obviously. Oh, I don't think jizz is that flammable, <laughs> to be fair. Um, you sick bastard. Yeah, my, you, I don't really give a shit. No. 
There you go. Well, well I give plenty of shit. I mean. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Let me ask you this. Ask. Did you do you uh, do you live in your own place or do you still live with uh, with parents? Answer for the uninitiated. No. Uh, man flew the nest. Puffin flew the nest. Puffin, puffled, from the nest. The puffin nest. And where uh, did he puffle to? Wherever the fuck he likes. Every day I'm puffling. <laughs> yeah. Basically, you live in subsidised flat, don't you? This is Subsidised correct, by your work. Um, which is quite crafty and shrewd of you. I am quite a crafty and shrewd person. Although, to be fair, how many rooms do you have? Two. <laughs> yeah. That aren't shared. Yeah. So... Two rooms of your own. So, yeah, there are drawbacks. There are drawbacks. Not, I'm never there. But, what do you mean you're never there? Where are you? Well, Partying? I wake up and I go to work. But work's next door. So it's not like you're... Yeah, so away. I'm not at home, am I? I'm at work. Oh, dear. Alright, alright, Peter. So, we're away. also now in a domicile that's uh, away from home. We're in a flat above a set of offices. It's a nice flat. The roof does leak. There's damp all over it, but it's not too bad. It's cold, it's wet, but otherwise, you know, we've got electric, we've got broadband, we've got hot water. It's not bad. And lots and lots of rooms, Mike. Rooms that Mike would boil over with envy at. Yeah, can you, can you hear me boiling? A full eight rooms. So, uh, you know, we're pretty happy with our residence. Now, Mike, our residences are not bad. We, we, we've, we've ascertained that we, uh, yeah, that they, they do the job. They're, they're, they're fit for purpose. We quite enjoy them for what they are. Other people aren't so lucky. And, of course, there's the massive conundrum of affordable housing, which we'll no doubt dive balls deep into. Don't be a puffin. Listen to Late Night Large. Mike, you're uh, you're someone who's not adverse to sleeping in strange places. <laughs> Except in a few. Yeah? Why don't you tell us the strangest place you've woken up in? <laughs> oh, without incriminating myself. Uh... <laughs> well, let's just incriminate yourself. Oh, yeah, let's just incriminate myself. <laughs> Let us incriminate myself. Yeah, yeah, okay, good idea. Go. Fuck off. Um, Sheepfield? Mike, bear in mind we're talking about housing here. You said strangest place I've woken up. Okay, strangest housing definition place that you might have woken up in, i.e. some kind of shelter. Bus shelter? Toilet? A, a fucking bus shelter? <laughs> How's that? That's where Trump's wake You. So I can't say sheep field, but bus shelter, that's, that's, <laughs> that's housing, is it? <laughs> Hence, listen to uh, the clues in the definition... Shelter. Oh, piss Bus off. <laughs> you could have said cow shed. That would have been similar. Oh, I, a, a fucking cow oh, shed. A roof on it, right? innit? Oh, all right, dear. all right. Yeah, stick a lid on it. Uh, so, I thought, for a bit of fun, Mike, we'd have uh, we we dredge up this uh, list of human habitation forms off Wikipedia, and maybe we could pass some funny comment on them. So, you ready for this? I'm going to be shouting them out, and you're going to be commenting. We got it? You see how this game works? Um, I think I understand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I th I think. <laughs> Airport. Planes. <laughs> was it? Just say the Plane. first word that comes into your head. Yeah, it's where you spend a lot of time. Word association, pointing, yeah. is that what I do? <laughs> no, uh, have you ever slept at an airport? Yeah, probably. No, probably not, actually. No? It, it's pretty good, obviously. There's loads of shops. There's usually some public restrooms, sometimes showers, plenty of duty free. I think you'll find there's definitely public restrooms, Aaron. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Fucking yes. idiot. Yeah. I was being a little on. Anyway, I know someone who spends a lot of time at airports, Edward Snowden. What about apartments? Is that an Americanism? Is that an American Isn't version really? of flat? Yeah, I guess. But apartments, Mike. We, uh, we, we're we assuming they're in blocks, right? So it's like a tower block. Generally, yeah. yeah so, 
from what I've seen in American movies, an apartment and on Friends. Yeah, an apartment is basically a massive tower block, and an apartment is you have an entire floor to yourself, or rather, part of a floor, depending on how big. But what I mean is, you have the whole floor in the sense that you know your house is splayed out on the floor. You obviously don't have any stairs to get to the next story, so you have like your living room your bathroom, your kitchen, everything in that living space on that floor. Am I right? Uh, maybe. I'm going to accept that definition because I can't be bothered to... Uh... All right, all right, <laughs> shut up. Apartment hotel, I'm guessing it's exactly the same but in hotel form. I don't know about you. Well, I'm going to be honest, I think you might be right. Um... So here's one that might apply to you, my barn conversion, except without the conversion. <laughs> Bleh. Yeah, he knows, he knows. Oh, he you grows. broke up once or time, once or twice with the uh, that noise. I have, yeah. Hey, cow shit. You say what you like about a cow shed. It might smell like shit, and you know you got plenty of milk in the morning. Yeah. Shelter, shelter from the worst of the rain. Still a bit windy, and uh, got a lot of cow manure everywhere. Serves a purpose. Yeah. Okay. What about barracks? What about barracks? Otherwise known as maybe cantonments or military camps barracks obviously I mean they're he sleeping headquarters for uh, military personnel aren't they that's correct yes yeah well done. and they're just like but they're a bit like cub scout camp really but, but more no designed. they're not there's just rows of beds in you know oh, in, in that way yeah in that way I mean okay bed and breakfasts what do you think do you like staying at bed and breakfast now and again because um, you Pro might I probably wouldn't do it unnecessarily no <laughs> I wouldn't just like I'm like, um, just leaving home to go and stay in a, a bed of breakfast just fancied it tonight <laughs> <laughs> fancy uh, sleeping in a different bed yeah well I don't need to stay in a bed and breakfast if I uh, uh, feel like that option alright uh, having having breakfast made for you <laughs> again I just no you don't you, oh, you want to uh, Okay, yeah. Bed and breakfast. Tonight. I mean, we normally maybe we wouldn't normally associate that with housing, but if you know the councils who have to rehouse families who've lost their homes, that's generally where people get put. So that is housing. Bed sits. Unfortunately, they're usually housing for vulnerable people. Would you say? Very, very poor people. I guess disadvantaged people yeah. down on their luck. I guess generally. Well, they're pretty much the cheapest form of housing, aren't they, bed sits? They're literally just a small room with a bed in and maybe a toilet. Generally, generally, yeah, I guess. But they're absolute basic amenities because, well, yeah, they're just made for absolute minimum cost because they do apply to very vulnerable people, sometimes homeless people as well, if they can get off the street for a few nights. Boarding house? Right. How is it, how is it different from a bed and breakfast? Well, it's permanent residence, and I guess. Oh yeah, I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Are you think what like um like boarding, boarding school? Boarding school, yeah. Yeah, I guess could be. Have you ever heard of a bothy? Are we interested in this? I'm gonna have to ask you to uh, to just to clarify what what a bothy is. Oh, right, let's uh, let's see if Wikipedia can. Uh, Enlighten us as to what this strange new word. Right, okay. A bothy is a basic shelter, usually left unlocked and available for anyone to use free of charge. It was also a term for basic accommodation, usually for gardeners or other workers on an estate. Wow, these are particularly common in the Scottish Highlands. Sounds like groundskeeper Willie's hut. Decent. In the Nordic countries, these are known as wilderness hut. A bothy was also a semi-legal drinking den in the Isle of Lewis. That's pretty cool. Most bothies are formerly ruined buildings which have been restored to a basic standard, i.e. they have solid walls and a roof to keep you sheltered from the uh, elements. But you probably... Oh, they have designated sleeping areas normally, which commonly either in an upstairs room or raised platform thus allowing one to keep clear of cold air and drafts at floor height although obviously you have to provide your own blankets and kind of bedding material that's quite cool most bothies have a fireplace again very practical 
and are near a natural source of water. I like this. That's that's real kind of back to nature, you know, helping people out when they're in the middle of nowhere. No, oh, it's pretty cool. It is. A spade may sometimes be provided to uh, to do what, Mike? Spade? <laughs> to hit people on the head with that try and get in while you're there? To bury excrement. No, to hit people on the head with. Oh, yeah. You don't bury your excrement, you just rub it on the walls. <laughs> to mark your territory and say I was here. Yeah. Apologies That's how it if, works. Apologies if there are any phone signals there. Some unprofessional twat has uh, left his within range of the microphone. Aaron, chill out, man. You don't, don't have to be so hard on yourself, all right? <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll be hard enough for the pair of us. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Bungalow? Do you like bungalows, Mike? I stayed in one for a short period when I was a young kid. Do you uh, know what I don't like about bungalows? Too near to the ground. Too many insects and spiders get in. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What else? It, bungalows mainly for old people, aren't they? Yeah. And disabled I think people, pretty cool, people but can't really get upstairs. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Yeah. Do we need more bungalows in this country? I read somewhere we did. Do we need? Yeah. If you think Probably, about the Asian yeah. population. Yeah, I just said so, yeah. I heard the uh, building of bungalows really tailed off in the 80s and has hardly been added to since, so maybe that's one thing that the... Well, whichever government's in charge needs to look at. What about Capsule Hotel? What do you reckon? I think that's probably something you're going to have to enlighten me on. Oh, yes. What? This is some funky shit going on here. It's basically space... Oh, space hotels. Wasn't there a... Oh, what film was... What film were these in? Alien. Yeah. They have them in Alien, don't they? Like the cryogenic you... sleeping areas. Do They're you... like in drawers. Hmm. And people climb into them. and shut the... It's a bit unsettling because it kind of looks like an airtight fridge design. Hmm. You basically... Shelving units that are big enough for someone to lie down and move around in... And then they shut the door behind them, presumably lock it to avoid anyone else getting in, but it, hopefully it's not airtight. And yeah, it, but it's absolute basic, minimal upkeep to obviously keep the price as low as No possible. good if you're claustrophobic as well. No, exactly. But and yeah, crazy space style, 2001. Some funky shit right there. I don't know about that. No, that's pretty cool. What have we got next? Casino Hotel. Um, is I, that I, just what I, I think it is? Yeah. A yeah. hotel inside a casino. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. It, yeah. That's for hopeless gambling addicts, I take it. <laughs> you get dragged off the floor. Ben, yeah. Um, <laughs> there was one of these uh, here <coughs> a long time ago. Castle Dunlarge. Castle Dunlarge. Yeah, castle. There's, all, there's, I, there's castles all I here I think that as well. I should have a castle. I genuinely think that's where I should... Uh, Would you build a moat of excrement? To keep people out. Why are you obsessed with excrement? <laughs> you, you fire children you out got... of the uh, cannon. Oh, come on, that's a fucking given. <laughs> um, All right. <clears throat> but uh, no, you, wanted, you uh, always wanted a castle, just so you can go on the king cool. of the castle. That'd yeah. be pretty fucking cool, wouldn't it? Would you drop acid on people? Yes, I drop so much acid. It's unbelievable. <laughs> 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 just, pee, just pee on people. Um, okay. What about if you live in a cave? That's pretty much the opposite of a castle. Isn't it? The most rustic of all. Again, I, I can see. I, th I think that. I, I think can see the attraction. I think. In a cave. Yeah. You see, no, I it, think it, it wouldn't bother you the, uh, the number of insects, potentially poisonous insects, and or the damage. I think the element of risk is uh, excites me. I think it's yeah. quite. I mean, it's quite cool. Like, you know, that is that is you're on about oh back to nature shit with the old. Uh, what should we call them? Bothies or whatever they are. Yeah. That's you know you can't get more oh, yeah. back to nature than True. a cave. cave. Yeah, I live in a fucking especially, cave. Especially a I build cave, a fire every night. What well, back cave? Mm, but, yeah, even better. We we all aspire to live in the back cave. Mm. Um, <coughs> what's this I next one, Mike? Is that is that, is that? Yao motherfucking dong? <laughs> Yao dong people. Pe people, we know where Yao Dong is. There's no need to keep getting into it. What about prison cell, Mike? You've woken up in one of these uh, now and again, haven't you? Usually missing uh, your pants. Always missing my pants. <laughs> we, no. T tell me the positives about prison cell. Free food. <laughs> no tax. Free healthcare. 
free healthcare. Um, what about? There's a lot to be said. Yeah, but I, I don't really fancy the you know the steel hole um, that you have to shit in and you could probably smell in in the rest of the cell. That's don't really, don't really bother me. En suite. Yeah. Chalet. It's like a holiday chalet. Yeah. 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 Do you like yeah. what they look like? Do you mean what they look like? What do they look like again? Do you want me to draw you a picture and no, no, we'll no, upload no, a it? No, picture. Just, just quickly describe oh, them. I don't do good with words. No, you can say that again. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, what's growing on? Any thoughts, Mike? No. <laughs> I was just thinking of other things that I'd like Give me shelter to be given. But let's not let's all not right. give me, no, don't lower the tone, Aaron, all right? Shut up. Well Shut sh- up. shelter is of course what anyone looks for when they're looking for housing, it is most basic. And I looked up chalet and of course it's the classic is a Swiss chalet. Those gorgeous little uh, dolls houses with wooden roofs that you actually do live in. And well, the the pictures on the chocolate boxes, basically. So, Mike, have you ever heard of a shawl tree? I beg your pardon. A shawl tree, or shawl tree, is a resting place where visitors can uh, have rooms and food provided by a charitable institution for nominal rates, sometimes free. Uh, sounds too good to be true. Go on. Uh, apparently, it's it's quite prevalent in South India, which explains it because obviously there's a lot of poverty down there. So clearly, there's people looking out for other people. So very, to be applauded. Where are we now? Communal apartment. Yeah. Are we thinking uni? Apart- ap- yeah. It's probably uni dorms, really, isn't it? Yeah. Where you have your own room, maybe en suite, and then you all share a kitchen lounge area. Yeah? Yeah. Condominium or timeshare. Have you ever been suckered into a timeshare? I can honestly say I haven't. Of course a timeshare is where I mean, has. I mean it's an shut up. It's an absolute uh it's an absolute gravy train where people will sell you a home that's already been built and they will not sell you it as a as a full home. They will sell you a time period in which the home is yours to use as you see fit. They're almost always scams. Basically, it, it it's renting a property for two or three weeks at a time, and then the hope is you fill all the year with different people, and you absolutely rake it in. And it's usually in a nice hot country, so you know that's why people would want one of those homes. The problem with timeshares is they're usually an absolute scam, i.e., they they oversell so you end up getting the same space as someone else and then it takes ages to sort it out in which time they hope that you don't get your money back because you give up this kind of thing so don't fall for them people cottage what do we know about cottage Mike other than you love to go cottaging no need have you ever shown up at a random place the cruising for gay sex I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you it's just all the time all the time <laughs> Uh, if I'm not, in fact, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing that once we finish, <laughs> we finish. Yeah, after you've been rebuffed by me. But, yeah, um, I'll be, you know, straight yeah, out. The cottage, the, the, there is another type of cottage. I'm not joking. No, go on. <laughs> there is another type of cottage, Mike. No, there's not. A pleasant little, you, like we were talking about the chocolate box with chalet. A little picturesque. It's like, yeah, it's like the UK version. Tumble down cottage. With, uh, <coughs> with built in classic stone. Maybe with a thatched roof, yeah, tiny yeah, yeah. little chimney sto- chimney pot. Uh, maybe kind of place that old Mother Hubbard used to reside in. Gnomes yeah. and flowers and squirrels dancing in the back garden. Yeah, and all that. County jail. I think that's American. Uh, do- uh, what the domus? You're just saying words at me now, aren't you? Any idea what a domus is? Do you think it's anything to do with the dome? No. I don't know though. I guess it's like Ooh, well c- like some Roman thing, but it <laughs> apparently it's where the Roman, pretty much the Roman aristocracy ah. lived, and it uh, occupied with the upper classes and some wealthy freedmen during the Republican imperial eras of Rome. And what do they look like? Go. 
uh, oh, they had quite lavish interiors and maybe a Yao Dong. Yeah, he basically uh, just quite extravagant looking buildings. Uh, what have the Romans given to us? Domus, amongst other things. Dormitory. Again, that's like boarding school, stroke, uni kind of thing. Dorms, yeah. Dugout. Yeah, football, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're thinking of people who build houses on the uh, the side of an embankment. You know, they dig them into the grass, so the uh, yeah. So the actual land provides the shelter on top. You don't need a roof. Yeah. So you basically live in underground, a bit, a bit like the wind in the willows. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll All right, Mister Toad. Uh, we've got earth sheltering or earth house, which I think are pretty much the same thing. In fact, uh, probably yeah. Uh, slightly different. What about uh, an extended stay hotel? I have no idea. Oh, Sounds like what it sh- probably is. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> what about farm stay? Is that where you like stay roll at up? A farm? <laughs> yeah, you you roll up at a farmhouse. You get shot a few times with a shotgun, pitchfork up your ass, hmm. and then just before you die, they say, "You know what? Sorry, we thought you were armed. You can we'll stay. Let you, we'll, let you, we'll let you stay with the cows tonight. <laughs> Flat share. Yeah. Again, that's that's. That's what most people might do the first time they move out. Get get together with some buddies or a girlfriend or something. Share with three or four of their mates. Yeah? Well, yeah, this next one's intriguing me. Oh, a flop house? I believe a flop house is um, a house that someone just continually lets people crash in. Like, different people. It can be maybe travellers or just friends, I think. Hang on, let's have a look. We know what a guest house is, so we don't really need to go through that. Do we? Do we know? I'm pretty sure we do. Okay. Uh, right. Oh no, apparently it's a place that offers very cheap lodging. Again, uh, oh, oh, okay, oh, it Goss like, House. Yeah, filthy, oh, right. filthy kind of bed sits. Oh, yeah. Flop House is a, is a American term. Yeah, it's Doss House. Yeah, yeah Doss that. Okay, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty derogatory uh, term for it. Uh, flop. <laughs> yeah, we got guest house and hostel, are probably quite similar. Have you ever stayed in a youth hostel? Or a hostel no. of any kind? No? No. It's an eye opener. Again, it's pretty basic lodgings and you can share with numerous other people and they're obviously they're strangers, so hostels can be dangerous to women unless you have specific like Stranger locks. danger. Yeah. Women generally have locked rooms in hostels for obvious reasons. Uh, I've stayed in hostels that don't have locked rooms and basically you sleep like you would in prison with your ass to the wall. You cling to your bag and your possessions in the hope that they can only be pried from your cold, dead hands. And we've got our hospital. Yeah, because I I, I always love crashing at a hospital now and again. Yeah, well, it can be arranged. Get out, seriously. Get it's out. The worst yeah, 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 yeah. Hotel, house, home or abode, obviously. We've got house barn, which I think is probably similar to uh, a converted barn. Uh, we've got well, sleep with the cows. Hut. Huh. That's obviously, you know, where you get pizza. <laughs> yes, Mike. That's like a shack, similar to a shack. Like a little, little wooden building with minimal facilities, I would have said. Okay, or like a little a, grass hut. Like a, like a shack, you say? Like a, like like a, a, like yeah. a love shack? <laughs> <laughs> well, well it's interesting you should say. That, yeah. <laughs> what about any? That's a <laughs> little old place. Shut up! Uh, you know, where potentially we could get together. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if there are specific sex houses. Love Shack, baby. Love Shacks. Love Shack. In? Well, that's where it's at. In? Have you ever stayed at an inn? Jesus didn't. There was no room. There's... I hate it when there's no room. Why is there never any room in the inn? It's probably because, you know, single mother rocks up and... Uh, Who's this hoe? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, so you're a virgin, are you? Fuck off. <laughs> That's, it's probably like, um, oh, my love, come come in, we'll, we'll shelter you in it. You say you're a virgin. Okay, well, we're going to show you to the sanatorium down the road. <laughs> uh, in Roman architecture, an insula was a kind of apartment building that housed most of the urban citizen population of uh, ancient Rome. Basically, it's just a lavishly architectured apartment block. As, as was most of the things that the Romans did. Potentially with the Aldong. Oh, of course. We've got a log cabin, Mike. 
Now, normally, you'd, you'd associate log cabin maybe with a hut, and you'd think, oh, pretty basic. Yeah, but somewhere in the woods. But most people dream of living in log cabins. It's back to nature, isn't it? But they like obviously they like it furnished well inside. But oh yeah, all but, the trimmings. Yeah, other than maybe electricity. Oh no, they'd have a generator outside, wouldn't they? I'd have thought so. One would have thought. But yeah, you ever dreamed of living in a log cabin in the forest somewhere? Um, no. Making love to squirrels, hunting bison. Um, and bison. I'm gonna be honest. Making love to bison. <laughs> Um, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, do, do, do we oh, oh, probably not being far off. Uh, uh, <laughs> go, on, go on. What do you think a long house is, other than a house that's long? Um, I oh, it actually is. It's what it says. Well, yeah. It's a long, proportionately narrow, single-room building built by people in various parts of the world, including Asia, Europe, and North America. Interesting. So maybe that's where you might want to settle your settle yourself we have Mike a love hotel fashion hotel a boutique hotel love shack maybe oh yeah what about a mansion you crave living in a mansion oh I don't crave it it'd be pretty cool but I mean yeah whatever you've got to pay for the heating bill (laughs) yeah opulence eh what about mini dorm that's probably what it says yeah I think it's uh, Minshiku which is a Japanese version of an inn I'm sure they're a lot more exotic and probably with probably sex cooler. robots in each room. Yeah, most Japanese shit's cooler. Monastery? Would you, would you like to get down with the monks? Um, the bell yeah, ringing. The, uh, I could get... I could the, get pi- the pious sacrifice. I know, could get down it? with those monkey types. <laughs> what about... Um, what, I, don't, I don't know if I could do the uh, abstaining from... The everything. From everything. <laughs> do you, actually, do you know what? I think perhaps... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to risk getting deep here. I think maybe that's something I should look into doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, after you've read all the heavens in town, and you be like, no. <laughs> I need to, I need to, I, I need to go cold turkey, find myself. I, I think maybe it wouldn't be a bad thing for me. I think you should end up like that monk in uh, the Omen, you know, the the one that can't bulletproof talk. monk. That's what I should end up like. The one, that, the one that can't talk with a like, disfigured, horribly disfigured face. No, I mean that's he not the scratches on a chalkboard. I actually think that could be your sa- your that... salvation. Yeah. No, I. Oh, okay, you take the piss out of me then. But I was oh, being sorry. serious. Oh, Mike, I tell you what, Moroccan Riyadh. That looks good. Look at that. You get a fucking Yao Dong in there. Yeah, it's similar to Yao Dong. It has a, it has a courtyard, obviously. It has balconies all around it. And there's sometimes water features in the middle. Very cool. Hmm. In more ways than one. That's pretty cool. No, I think a Moroccan Riyadh would be a very cool. Because they're inwardly focused, they're allowed for privacy and protection from the weather. Which, is, again, because like, you're sheltered from the sun around with the buildings surrounding you. That's uh, no, that's very cool. I can ima- I can imagine relaxing in a rock and riad. Like we said, any pimps have courtyards, mm. as I now have, with our shared courtyard. Yeah, you're right, pimp. Just, just throw it out there. So let's uh, let's just quickly go through the rest of these stationary housing options potentially. Uh, we got motel, hotel, room. motel, holiday inn. Yeah, long yeah. Ha- long house, which we discussed. Uh, a nursing home, which we don't want to think about, but obviously everyone gets there one day. Shit happens. Uh, palace, yeah, well... Crystal. Yeah, yep. <laughs> uh, lodging pension, I've no idea what that is. Pit house. It sounds like shit house. I like it. Pit house. Hang on, let's have a quick look. Uh, what about the others, Mike? Prison, again, we've discussed... There's the a lot to be... In. There's a lot to be said for prison. Psychiatric hospital, which is where you might end up just as well. Again, probably wouldn't be a bad thing for me. Yeah, a pit house apparently is what it sounds like, which is just dug into the ground, although it does have a, a proper sort of teepee over the top of it. Pretty cool. We've got public house, which is obviously a pub. Yay! Public, public housing. Which isn't a pub. No. Oh. <laughs> Retirement home, resort, holiday resort, yeah. Uh, roundhouse. Uh, I, that's I a kick, that, isn't it? What? Is that, isn't that a, Wait, a, a kick? Roundhouse kick, I mean. Oh, very good. You dick. Uh, I think Roundhouse is actually what it sounds like. It's actually a round building. Uh, Ryokan, which is a traditional Japanese inn. Well, I don't know how that's different from Minshiku, but... Sanatorium, which we discussed before. Welcome home. <laughs> uh, share house. Single room occupancy. 
sleeping car on a train very atmospheric indeed sod, sod house God's what the dick Mike, have you ever slept at a train station maybe think when so. you missed your train yeah maybe maybe pissed up oh sod house is referring to like the sods of earth that used to make it oh yeah mm. okay that's pretty cool train sod station house. tree house now yeah. you're talking did you ever have a tree house yeah, I built loads oh, of trees. The more lavish, the better. Oh, I tell you what, if I if I have any sprogs, we're gonna get a house with a massive tree. And I'm just gonna build like an absolute yaldong up there. Oh, yaldong the fuck out! Oh, here we go. Is this your new favourite word, Mike? Turbaza. What's this about? I I gotta be honest. The word's got potential. <laughs> At the minute, it means fucking nothing to oh, me. Oh, it's a generally Soviet era Russian form of inexpensive Spartan holiday accommodation. Okay, that's gone down in my yeah, estimation. This doesn't sound great. Underground living, uh, like, I don't know. What's that? <laughs> wi- w- wind in the willows again. If you're a bad Wombles. Bad. Yeah. Vacation rental or a villa. We know what villas are. Yep. I went to Spanish 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 yeah. Spanish Yeah. Very good. Okay, what about semi permanent, as in. Uh, semi. Oh. We've got beach hut, bivouac shelter, emergency shelter, igloo, mobile home, ramada. Snow Cave, Tent City, and Quinji. Any questions about any of them? Semi permanent, I think, by nature, that they I can think, be I moved think, if I they think have igloos to. Igloos are pretty fucking cool. I've always yeah. wanted to build an igloo. Do you know, uh, I've heard of. I've, I've, I've kind of have. I've heard of bivouac shelters. Let me see if. Oh, it's an improvised campsite, is a bivouac shelter. Which, which can even just, just be like a, an extensive sleeping bag. What else we got? Quingy. Yeah. Ah, it's similar to uh, igloo except less polished. Made by hollowing out a pile of settled snow, whereas an igloo is like bricks of hard snow. So basically, Quingy is a lazy man's igloo. <laughs> it's half-assed igloo. Yeah. Okay, and we move on to mobile housing, aeroplanes, a bender tent. <laughs> Which sounds good I to Mike and beg his cottage. Your pardon. Uh, boat ship ferry cruise no, 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 ship no, 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 no. What's a fucking bender tent? I have a feeling it may be a tent that bends, but I could be wrong. Well, that would be my inkling, but I, I need clarification. Oh, it's a tent made out of like flexible branches and other shit. Oh, so it's yeah, okay. <laughs> I know what you thought. Yeah. Uh, we've got. Bus, camper caravan, or trailer, car, caravan parks, houseboat, hot air balloon. Oh, I'd love to live in a hot air balloon. I don't really consider Any kind housing, of, though. No. Yeah. You can, of course you can live in one. I, be, I bet you could sleep bloody well in a hot air balloon, as long as you don't go too high. Uh, portable building, public transport, recreational vehicle, etc., like, like the campers. Uh, spacecraft, which I'm not sure most people would class as housing but you might be up there for quite some time uh, I'd say more than a hot air balloon we've got various types of tents which we won't go through uh, what about homelessness unfortunately these are places that the uh, least fortunate bus might resort to sleeping in we've got a barn which Mike knows about a bus station or bus stop which again Mike knows about <laughs> cardboard box uh, which Mike plays in a homeless shelter which, you know, is is uh, actually a nice form of uh, homeless accommodation. Derelict building, which is where you might find squatters. Uh, dumpster, which is where you might find... Which is where I take a squat. <laughs> dumpster, which is where you might find uh, a certain character who lives not a million miles from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Refugee... <laughs> refugee camp. Shipping container. I've actually heard in Amsterdam they have, uh, they have people on low income living in shipping containers. Uh, what have we come to? It's an appeal, I guess. Sleeping rough, obviously, which is no accommodation at all. Or a stable, which is where Jesus rocked it. Yeah, away in a manger. So let's go specifically to the UK, Mike. Do we have a housing problem in the UK? Yeah. I'm going to say yes, because... What, what is the housing problem? What would you describe as the housing problem? Well... Bo- other oh. than rents are fucking rip-offs. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, the major housing problem we face in this country is... <laughs> well, it's quite obvious, isn't it? It's, I don't have my own castle. <laughs> Your own Yaldong, you mean? 
With the old on. Uh, Where's my fucking all, castle? All right, King Large. Look, affordable housing. Again, I'll bring it back. The baby boomers, they were quite happy living where housing was plentiful. Affordable housing was plentiful. You paid about 20% of your monthly income for housing. We're now up to about 50 or 60%, if you're lucky sometimes. There's a there's something interesting here. Something that interested me here, okay. In case anyone's not really aware of the 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 uh, how the housing crisis got to the stage it is, Wikipedia gives a a brief but enlightening idea of how we got into this mess. This was all political decisions that created this. As recently as the mid 1970s, the average house price in the whole of the UK was just over 10 grand. This is when a lot of people, who are now happy to say that the rest of us shouldn't have anywhere to live, took advantage of it and now have, you know, a lot of assets. A steady increase followed over the next decade, which you'd expect, obviously, interest and, and th everything accumulates in price eventually because wages steadily rise as well. And by 1986, that figure was in the region of 40 grand. However, the economic upturn of the late 1980s, and obviously Thatcher selling off all the council housing and not building anymore, saw that figure rise to around 70 grand by 1989. So you're thinking that in, what, 10, 15 years, that's gone up nearly seven times. It dropped slightly in the early 90s due to the recession. But then John Major played his part in uh, making it even more unaffordable by removing rent tribunals and the Fair Rent Act. In other words, landlords were free to charge whatever the hell they liked, and then they used market forces as the excuse for ripping everyone off, because their argument was, if you don't like it, go stay somewhere else. But of course, housing is not something you can just opt out of. Everyone requires housing. Now, Mike... Between 1988 and 2007, house prices rose dramatically, generating large increases in home equity for many homeowners, but also making housing unaffordable for other people. Most developed countries, of course, experienced sharp increases in house prices, mainly due to the population boom. But the UK situation was different in two regards. Firstly, the house boom started earlier and saw more sustained increases. Secondly, the regional, regional pattern was fairly uniform. Between 2002 and 2007, house prices in the UK rose by 90%. We're now looking at averages over a quarter of a million, sometimes, in some areas. I'm sure I've got that in my back pocket, if you want it. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say, Mike, is, you know, how, how do we get our way out of this mess? One thing I'd like people to look at, right? Go on. Say you're a buy-to-let landlord... Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tie them all with the same brush, but say you're a buy to let landlord, i.e. you're earning money by doing nothing. Fair play to you. You're doing no work to earn that money, you've just got an asset that other people are using. So basically it's rentier rent rentiering, which is like the scourge in modern society, is where too many people are making money by things they own rather than things they do. So you're allowed to charge basically whatever the hell you like. And you, sometimes you're taking my tax money, because if you're taking anyone to house it, that's my tax money, that you're deciding how much of my tax money you want to take as a landlord. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't begrudge that so much if the cost of rent was borne out by the state of the property. For instance, we know if you rent, you know, a three-bedroom detached, it's going to be a lot more expensive than a single-bedroom terraced. And then you've got to look at regional fluctuations. Obviously, it's going to be more expensive in London, where the employment chances are higher and the wages are higher. But why should you get away with having a de pretty, pretty much derelict property in an otherwise decent area and still get away with charging rip-off rents? For instance, if it's cold, it's damp, if the place is falling apart, why the fuck should I be paying market rent? That rent should be drastically reduced until you fix all those problems. Regulation is not enforced strictly enough, clearly, because I read, you know, I read these updates from Shelter, the housing uh, charity, and there's okay. a hell of a lot of people in shit accommodation, and obviously people these days not affording energy bills, 
their houses are going to get damp they're going to be suffering from mould and that kind of thing it's a pretty uh, shit situation to be in it is a sad sad situation have you got any potential solutions because obviously we need more affordable housing we've recently had a housing development in this area wave through which is not affordable at all and we're told that housing need was the reason for it and yet the only people who can afford it are people on potentially six figure salaries so make of that what you will corruption someone was against it then well, I think a lot of people were against it is there anything that can be done to help the situation mm. are you happy with your housing situation w would I like to be able to afford a, a house actually Oh, it's a whole new story we haven't got time for, but don't worry about it. Maybe I'll tell you another time. <laughs> I don't know what the solution is. No. All I know is people that are paid to find one should. People what? That are paid to find one should, uh, <laughs> probably should. What you if they're I mean? bribed to find a more expensive solution for people who just want to buy more expensive property? Then boo! Therein lies the problem. So, me and Mike are just off to sleep in uh, a bus shelter, maybe. Grundon bin. I don't know. Hmm. Who knows where we'll sleep tonight, but you can be sure that we'll be up in time for next week to give you more large. You love a bit of large. <laughs> he good, knows. Good night.